Now for this next part then we've got to find f dash of x, the first differential. Differentiate f of x with respect to x. And to do this what we've got is two functions of x being multiplied together. 8 minus x multiplied by the natural log of x. So that means that we need to use the product rule. And just as a brief reminder, product rule is that if you've got y equals two functions of x multiplied together, let's say u and v, it can be shown that dy by dx is equal to one of those parts, the first part say, multiplied by the differential of the second part plus then the second part multiplied by the differential of the first part. So that is the product rule and that's what I'm going to use here. But I must admit what I don't do is just write down what u and v are. I just go straight into it. I'll leave it up to you if you want to put u and v but personally I just think that's a waste of time. So all I'm going to do is just say well it's the first part that's 8 minus x multiplied by the differential of the second part. So differential of natural log of x is 1 over x. And then we add, okay, the second part, natural log of x. Always put these things in brackets, these parts, all right, okay, just so that it stops writing any ambiguous statements. So we've got the second part, now multiply it by the differential of the first part. And the differential of the first part with respect to x is just going to be minus 1. So put that in brackets, minus 1 there. That is essentially differentiated with respect to x. We just need to clean it up. We could write this term here as 8 minus x all divided by x, okay? And this term, well we've got a minus here over the plus, so that's going to be minus the natural log of x. So there you go, that's f dash of x then.